Hello, everyone. My name is Ryan Block, and today we're going to be talking about how we can use the reporting plugin within Outlook to report emails as either false positives or threats that Datto SaaS Defense has missed. Now, I want to kick things off from within Outlook here, where we can see all of our different emails that have been delivered to our mailbox. The first thing I want to talk about is how we can report something as a miss. So if an email comes through that we determine is actually malicious and should have been flagged by SAS Defense, we can navigate to that email. And what we'll see is once we've installed the report threat plugin, we'll see a new icon appear here where we can report something as a threat. This will give us a few different reasons, such as fake attachment, unknown links, it was spam, or an unknown sender. And we can make our selection and hit send to report that threat. This information will be populated on the MSP's events page, letting them know that your end users have reported something as malicious that got through SAS defense. But additionally, this information will go directly to our threat hunting teams where they will review this potential threat as well. Now, if we're looking to flag something that was incorrectly flagged as malicious, something should not have been caught by SAS Defense that was, you're gonna wanna navigate to the junk folder where you'll be able to see all of the different threats that we've blocked using SAS Defense with the malicious content neutralized by being replaced with a stub here. What you'll see is even in these quarantined emails, there is still the option to report this as a miss. So we come in using the report threat plugin, say this was incorrectly flagged as malicious and send this over to the team for review. If you have a spam email that was flagged by Datto SAS Defense and someone comes in and reports it as incorrectly flagged, SAS Defense will automatically recognize that and make sure that that sender is no longer flagged for spam. However, we will continue to scan that email address in case it ever becomes compromised, making sure that there's still no malicious content coming through. 